Welcome to Studio One Saturdays, where every single Saturday I share something awesome inside of Studio One with you. Today I want to show you how you can save hours and hours and hours of editing vocals with a single button inside of Studio One. This feature is called Strip Silence, and it is a very, very useful feature, but you need to make sure that you actually know how to use it to get the most out of it. So let's jump on into Studio One and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here inside of Studio One I have a track that sounds like this. When the stars align, you're on my mind. Feel like I'm caught in time, stuck in rewind. And so now I want to edit that main vocal, this one right here. And let's take a listen to what this sounds like without any editing on it at all yet. When the stars align, you're on my mind. Feel like I'm caught in time, stuck in rewind. So there's really only two spots that I'm really concerned about, which is right here. There's that little breath there. You're on. And then this little one right here. And feel like I'm caught. I kind of want to eliminate those entirely. And especially in a track like this, I really want like just the vocal. I almost want to over edit it for this EDM style track. So if we come up here to Studio One and we go down to Keyboard Shortcuts, we can look for Strip Silence. And right here, I have it set to Control and Forward Space. And you can assign any key you want here. Click Apply and then click OK. Now, if I select that key command, it is going to strip all of the silence out of this vocal. Now see what it's done here? It's actually stripped a little bit too much. And you might have experienced this yourself if you just go right for the key command. Let's take a listen. This is almost unusable. Feel like I'm in time. Yeah, I can't, I can't use that at all. So what a lot of people do is they'll press that button, realize it doesn't work, and then they just quit using it entirely. But there's actually a better way to access the entire menu for this very powerful feature. So if we come up here to the toolbar up here, you can actually click this little icon here, which is the strip silence feature. And this is basically the setting that's in by default. There's tons of options here. Personally, there's couple different presets here and then there's a manual section here where you can adjust everything you want entirely. I'll get to that in a minute. But I personally like to use Little Silence as the detection preset essentially. Now the open and close threshold will be closed if you are using anything else other than manual, but that's fine. And then there's the minimum length. So it has to know what the minimum length is before it wants to cut vocals. So for example, this is a very, very short minimum length. So this was set at like zero seconds, which is why it cuts such an aggressive amount of that vocal out. So what we can do is we can undo what we just did here and we can make some adjustments. So right here, we're at a little silence. We can adjust the minimum length to about 0.3 seconds. And then we have an option for pre-roll and post-roll fades. This is really cool because it will automatically add your fade ins and fade outs on every single cut. So that way you're not getting that snapping sound when you make a hard cut in audio. It gives you that little fade in and a little fade out automatically. So I don't need a whole bunch. I'm just going to do 0.1 seconds. And for the post roll, I'm also going to do 0.1 seconds. And so now that we have these settings, we can click apply. See how it cut out the silence but it hasn't cut out everything yet. For most people, this setting would actually be pretty great, but for me, I wanna cut it just a little bit harder. But let's take a listen to this vocal and then I'll show you what I mean. When the stars align, you're on my mind. Feel like I'm caught in time, stuck. Everyone. Now that's not bad, I could probably leave it, but for the sake of this video, I wanna go a little bit harder to show you how you can cut out almost everything, including breaths, without having that weird chopping sound that the default setting added to this vocal. So we'll just undo what we did there. And now what we can do is we can come up here to the detection setting, go down to manual, so that way we have control over this open and close threshold. Currently it is linked, so if we adjust one, it adjusts both. That's fine, you can unlink it with that button there and adjust each one individually. I prefer to leave them linked. And then for this track, I think we're gonna leave it right around negative 14. And then for this minimum length in the event section here, I wanna bring it all the way down to about 0.1 seconds. So I really get these breaths out of here. And now I will click apply. So now it's cut it extremely aggressively here. Let's take a listen. When the stars 
thousand line You're on my mind Feel like I'm caught in time Stuck in rewind That's a lot better. I can even go further by adjusting the event length knob. We'll undo that again and we'll adjust this minimum length down even further. And then we'll click apply again. And now it's even cut even more out of that breath. I'm, you're on my mind. Feel like I'm caught in time. Stuck in rewind. The great thing about this is once you have the settings placed, every time you press that button afterwards, it just recalls the last settings that you had on the strip silence menu. And now I want to do the same thing to this vocal, but we already made our settings up here and those will be recalled every time we press that key command. So I'll press the key command and notice how it cut everything to basically the exact settings that was up here. You can actually select multiple different clips and press the button and it edits all of those at once. One single button saves hours and hours and hours of editing vocals. Now let's take a listen to what this sounds like in the context of the mix. When the stars align, you're on my mind. I feel like I'm calling in time, stuck in rewind. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love this video. In that video, I show you how you can turn any plugin, even third-party plugins, into mid-side processing plugins using a really awesome tool inside of Studio One called Splitter. There are three ways to use Splitter and a hidden fourth way that turns any plugin into mid-side processing. You're definitely going to want to check out that video there. So you can click there. I'll see you over there. And now, as always, go create.